everyone welcome back to another adobe photoshop 2020 tutorial guys this one nice and easy but we're going to be looking at the brand new that's right this is brand new to adobe photoshop 2020 we're going to look at the uh, gradients panel guys uh, just a heads up i'm in photoshop 2020 here and when i go up here to window i'm just going to show you where i'm at you're going to see here gradients it's not checked for me right now and if you're not, and if you want to double check, I click on Photoshop. This is 2019. I go to Window, go to G. There is no gradient, so this is brand new. It's a bad boy. All right, guys. If you're following along, I've got some just some generic uh, crumpled paper background here because it gives me a nice contrast, so I can show you how to work with gradients very very quickly and make some seriously cool things happen in, in a short period of time. All right. So we've got a layer here. I'm going to go ahead now and just get in on this. So if you want to get your gradients panel open, go up here to window and then make sure there's a check mark beside gradients. For me, it pops all the way the hell out here and this is too far out. So I'm going to go ahead and dock it right in here. Yeah, okay, that'll work for now. Let's, I'm just going to have to move this a little bit. Move it over. Okay, well, whatever. Close enough. Okay, guys, so there we go. We've got gradients. It's open now. The first step here, if you want to apply a gradient to the background layer, you can just click on any gradient here inside the gradient window. And actually, I'm going to click on this and you'll see, boom, it applies it just like that. But one of the things you'll notice here in the new panel is that when I drop the chevron here and I look down, you're going to see here that I've got some of my um, saved and untitled gradients here. Like I've downloaded a whole bunch off the internet. So your guys' might not look like this, but very, very quickly, I've got like a hundred some odd gradients here and if I wanted to make this background layer you know have this sort of cool I don't know whatever the hell color this is it's one click and it's done you can go in here you can reduce the opacity if you want it to be a little lighter and you know you can change it from part of me from normal to to screen for example and you've got a completely new look in like seconds but anyways that's enough of that um, and I apologize if I went quickly there. Um, this was pretty basic stuff, but here's where it gets kind of cool. I've gone ahead and created a type layer of my name. I'm just going to turn it on. And then again, if you want to go to gradients, you can go up to your gradients panel. Where did it go? Did I close it? There it is. It's the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and select maybe one of the default gradients. Uh, black and white one is the one you're probably most used to apply that and bang you will notice here that under text it applied it as an effect and I'm showing you that because if I do it another way here I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna turn this one off and here's a new layer and I'm gonna do some painting so I've got my paintbrush here and I'm gonna select some weird color like it doesn't really matter actually I'm gonna select pink and I'm gonna paint just like that okay looks cool but here's where gradients are cool. When you go to the gradients panel, make sure it's open, select any gradient, and then when you're on the layer watch, as soon as you click on the gradient, bang, it's applied automatically and it's applied in, in, in instance. So I can, I mean, I can literally go through every single one of these if I want to and try and find a, a look that I'm going for. Now, I know I'm not telling you guys to go ahead and download like 100 gradients off the internet, but if you want to work quickly and fast, this is the way to do it guys the gradient panel is brand new it's easy to access you can apply this effect in split seconds you can choose from hundreds of different looks as you can see here i'm just going through a huge list and this will make your design life a lot lot smoother a lot lot faster ton more tutorials coming up guys stay tuned for more i'll be back soon